Frost Alert weather update is brought to you by Custom Engineering Heating and Cooling. Well, good Sunday morning, mid-Michigan. Across the area, we're seeing mostly dry conditions, but a few areas are actually seeing some light showers starting to move in right now. It's not going to be a lot of precipitation, and it's really not going to mean too much for us by the time the day is done, but we do have those light showers moving through. Here's a look at downtown Flint. Roadways up possibly a little wet here with some early uh, sprinkles that have been moving through. There is not a lot of activity out there right now for the Flint area specifically, but we will be seeing some increases in that precip potentially as we go in the next couple of hours here. Here's your wind gust right now. It's also a breezier day for us. These northeasterly winds kind of picking up a little bit near that storm system that's actually passing south of mid Michigan today. So some of these stronger gusts you can see 24 coming in there uh, for the Flint area, 20 in Lapeer, 16 there in uh, Owasso and Elma. So throughout the day, we'll see some of these winds kind of transition up towards parts of the thumb. Other than that, though, most of these winds staying down there towards the south and then eventually calming down as we go into tonight. Your first alert hometown forecast for today. Temperatures in those middle and upper 70 or rather 30s. 70s would be nice, uh, but uh, we're talking 37 there in uh, parts of Lapeer, uh, Genesee and in Shiawassee County. As we go up towards the thumb, these temperatures here very, very similar. It's going to be this way for much of mid Michigan today. 37 there in Forrester, Deckerville, Argyle, all the way through uh, parts of Cairo there. 37 degrees. A few 39s mixed in there at times. This will be the case in the Bay Area as well as our US 127 counties here. 36 in Bay City, 37 in Saginaw, 37 there in Frankenmuth. It's going to be a very similar to what it was yesterday for folks that are uh, headed out for the final day of the Snowfest. As we go further to the north here, we're looking at places like Wise, Rosebush, Mount Pleasant there, 39 degrees. Way up to the north here, once we get into Houghton Lake, Higgins Lake, Ross Common, temperatures right around that 35 mark further to the south, seeing a few of those 30 nines mixed in there as well along our Huron shore 37 in Oscoda 36 in East Tawas uh, places like Sims 36 degrees there so generally speaking we're 35 to 39 ish degrees for us today tomorrow we do have the opportunity to be just a little bit warmer on the warmer side for us again okay we're looking at these showers moving through at times for us uh, again as far as our temperatures today right we just talked about above freezing temperatures uh, for our highs and that's going to be the case as this precipitation is falling down for us. So we might have a few snowflakes. It's cold enough for the snowflakes to fall. It's not going to be cool enough for them to stick. So even if we do see the snow because of those warm temperatures, nothing's going to be really sticking for us. They move out of here pretty quickly. Those northerly winds take over and uh, the winds kind of calm down a little bit for us there. There is a chance that we do have a few of those uh, showers that try to develop off of Lake Huron in the tip of the thumb. I don't expect a lot from this. Maybe a few sprinkles or isolated flurries. Seven day forecast again, just a little bit warmer for tomorrow. Some folks by a couple of degrees. Uh, won't see too much of a difference there. Cooling down by, again, just a couple of degrees for Tuesday. And then we rebound a little bit here Wednesday into Thursday. Upper 30s, lower 40s. Drying out here as we go towards the end of the week and into the weekend after just a small chance for a few mixed showers on Tuesday. Stay with WNEM TV 5 on air, on the go, and online for more news and weather updates.